Chances are you're watching this video because you're a fan of shooting video with your iPhone. I mean, and why wouldn't you be? It's great quality video, it's it's cool and it's in your pocket all the time so it's just there for you to use and I've got something really awesome today to show you which is going to make it even cooler it's an anamorphic lens from a company called Sandmark and also a phone case and a cage that goes with it as well so let's uh, not mess around we'll unbox these things have a look see how it goes together and then head outside and do some test footage so you can actually see what the results of it are Okay, let's start by unboxing all of this. We'll start with the anamorphic lens here and the phone case, which is also available, and the film rig we'll have a look at after that and show you how it all fits together. These things all come separately. I got all three of them because I wanted to see how the whole ecosystem worked. Right, well, let's start with the anamorphic lens. Comes in a nice box, got some specs on the back there. You can see those so it's anamorphic lens it's got a lens pouch in here a clip-on mount a cleaning pouch and lens caps of course the aspect ratio is 2.4 to 1 and field of view 113 degrees and it's got an inner and outer thread I'll show you what those are as well you can also put filters on here so let's just pull this out of the box there we go now it comes in this neat carry case here which has got a, a good zip on it and this just protects it all so you can lug it around it's not particularly huge will just disappear in the bottom of a bag easily we've got a carabiner in here which you can put onto the um, zip mount if you want just to help carry it around put it to your belt or something and there's this neat little bag here which i'll just open up and this has got the lens itself in it as you can see it's quite tiny but as soon as you pick it up and hold it you can feel that it's a really solid piece of equipment so lens cap on the front and back there and there it's got a the small thread on the back there which goes into the phone case or into this clip mount so if you don't get the phone case or you want to move it around to other devices that you don't have a case for you can use this clip mount and it screws into there so i'll put that back on and the other thread it was talking about was there's a thread inside here so you can get filters for that if you want to like get an nd filter or something like that for here they can just go in there so that's what comes in that bag oh, also a, uh, a small cleaning cloth of course you've got to have one of these come with everything now the next thing i want to open up is the phone case because then i can put this on my phone and see how the whole thing works now it's just a fairly standard looking phone case as you can see it's got this aluminium plate here it's got threads for the wide angle and your normal lens it doesn't have a thread for the telephoto lens um, but it's also got holes for the light and the lidar and everything on the iphone so i'll just grab the phone here and it just slots into that straighter away yeah real easy not a problem and now what i can do is i can take the lens out of here take that back cap off and i'll just screw it onto the main lens of the camera like this there you go it just slots straight in turns around and there you go nice tight now with the anamorphic lens in the front here as you can see this rotates around so what you need to do is just line up this uh, little line on the top here with the top of the camera and you can just turn that and get it nice and square on the camera nice and square to the phone and there you go you're away laughing you can just open up the video recording and i don't know if you can tell on that one but it's nicely squeezed up you can see the the squares on my uh, mat down here uh squeezed that way which is what you expect out of the anamorphic camera okie dokie let's uh pull the cage out and have a look at that as well this is the last bit i'll put that lens cap back on the front last bit here is the film rig itself I'll just rip that out of here now this is a good solid rig it does come with an allen key as well i just took this out before and played with it and i've left it over on another shelf there it's got a really good solid metal phone clamp in there so you can put the phone in there and it's not going to twist around and it's big enough to put the case into it as well of course there's this swing out arm here that you can use to say put a light or a microphone or something like that um, right out the side if you want to or underneath it or just use it to mount to something else it's got quarter inch threads on the bottom here and at the top and on the sides and also on the sides here here 
and on the swing arm so there's plenty of places there you can use to, to mount things and there's also these screws here which you can use to push up into here or whatever you want to to um, tighten anything else in so there's lots of options to customize and mount all sorts of things and of course you can use the bottom one here as a tripod mount if you wanted to mount it onto a tripod or something as well the handles on the side here are metal they're um they've got a, a nice matte finish to them they just screw in top and bottom to the cage they're actually really good to grip they don't feel like they're going to get slippery and they've got a bit of a patterning in them as well so that's going to be really good to hold on to and just being able to grip onto these handles on the side means that you're going to be able to keep the camera your phone steadier without relying so much on the steady shot and the automatic stabilization which gives you a better quality image overall now to mount the phone in here you just push it up into the clamp it's a really good strong clamp and it just clamps it off to one side it's nice and strong so the phone's not going to wobble around or anything while you're in here so now what i'll do is i'll just open up the camera app there we go and um, as you can see it's doing its thing i turn off the macro so that it's actually using that camera and there it is and that's just going to give you a nice broad platform to be able to hold and move that around and if i want to as i said i can put it onto a tripod or a tripod head or even a slider or something like that and get great shots with this okay so we've got this all set up ready to go let's head outside and um, find someone to shoot and get some sample footage and you can see how it comes out so what is it that makes the Sandmark anamorphic lens so special? Well, it has 2.4 times anamorphic magnification, which means it's going to give you that 2.4 to 1 ratio that you expect from real good wide cinematic footage. And it does this without having to crop any of it. So it's using every, every pixel on the sensor. It's just that the pixels are rectangular rather than square. And that's the whole definition of anamorphic. The lens is made with multicolored coatings, so it's going to reduce glare and lens flare and give you a really nice sharp clear image. And if you want to use anamorphic to get lens flare, I actually suggest doing that with a filter later on where you can control it. And I'll make some more videos soon that um, show you how to use some of these really good light and flare filters. So don't forget to subscribe and um, we can have a look at those later on in another video. So there you have it, the Sandmark anamorphic lens for your phone, the phone case with the screw mounts and of course the cage all together makes a great system for shooting really cool videos just with your phone easily portable really quick to put together and fantastic results out of it if you want to know anything more about this then do just leave a question in the comment section down below also if you've got suggestions for other videos you can put that down there too and don't forget to click down here and subscribe and this video and this video will also show you some more really cool stuff so go ahead and watch those and i'll see you in another video real soon been great seeing you.